what's up? This is Odolena from Odolena Digital and today I will talk about in-store visits and tracking them with Google Ads. Welcome to my channel, my name is Odolena. I work for Google but this channel is my place where I share information which is my opinion, it's not official statement of Google or anything like that. This is my observations on some of the newest products and that today I want to talk about in-store visits. So this is something new from Google, relatively new. Uh, basically, if you have an online campaign with Google, let's say you're spending some money on digital advertising, on search, on shopping, on YouTube, uh, and you have a physical store where you are selling products. Let's say you have a supermarket, for example, at the main street. You can now track how many people who have clicked on your ads have actually came in into your store after that within 30 days. So this is quite exciting, especially as we find out that 90% of the sales are still happening in store. So this includes grocery shopping, of course, includes uh, all kind of small sales that we uh, actually do around the, uh, along the way, different transactions. And um, we'll realize that actually people are spending money on ads that they don't know how these ads are actually affecting these in-store visits, which are so crucial to a business which has a physical location. So let's think about the online journey. So imagine there is a funnel where you have on the highest level, there is a lot of people who, let's say, become aware of your product. So they become aware of your product. In many cases, we'll find out that uh, actually this is a Google search. Uh, so they are maybe watching a YouTube video and they see something that uh, catches their interest. Uh, so in many cases, Google is this first interaction where they would uh, inspire the user to uh, research a little bit more, to discover a new brand. And along the journey, they have a lot of different touch points across devices. Maybe they go into the store or they speak with someone, they see an ad in a magazine or in the TV or on the radios. There's so many touch points that they have. And eventually what happens is that these people come out of the funnel, the ones that actually really like this product, they go in the store and they buy it on a sunny afternoon. Well, how do you track how these people actually came to the store? Like, was it because they first did a search for which you paid for your ad to show up high enough or for a YouTube video ad to show uh, while they're watching their favorite show? Uh, and they ended up coming into your store and buying something or maybe just walking inside your store. Uh, so Google figured out a way to measure this and to do it safely for the business and for the individual, which is actually very, very important. So if you are an advertiser and you want to uh, track how your ads are actually affecting people coming into your store, uh, there is one very big step that, and this is to have uh, your Google My Business account. So Google My Business is uh, your place on Google Maps. So if you own a store, a physical location where you actually are operating from, uh, you have to claim this location. You can do it by just searching for your address on the map and you will see a small call to action saying claim this business. So within a few clicks, you uh, can actually claim it say that I'm the owner of this business, please Google send me a code. They will send you a verification code just to confirm that you, what you're saying is true, that you actually have uh, received your mail in this address, you are based in this location. So what they are gonna do, they probably will send you a postcard in the mail. Uh, they might give you a call or send you an SMS. And just to confirm that you are actually based on this address and you are the legitimate owner of this business. Then, once this is done, you can actually link your Google My Business location to your advertising account. So, provided you're already spending some money on Google Ads, 
you have a Google Ads account, you link it to Google My Business, Google knows that you are this uh, business owner who is spending that, that much money, they are getting that many clicks, that many viewable impressions, uh, and you have a store which is based on this geographical location. Then the interesting part comes, how would Google find out who actually from the people who clicked on your ad ended up coming inside your store. So this is an absolutely fascinating story. Uh, so if you uh, probably are aware, Google owns an operating system developed by Google called Android. Uh, and Android happens to have 1 billion users across the globe. Uh, actually, 80% of the smartphone users around the world use devices with Android operating system. So there are a lot of, lot of phones. And we know that 1 million people have voluntarily shared their physical location on their mobile device with Google. So this means whenever you are using your mobile phone uh, for the GPS, so you want to find your way around, you have to share your location with uh, Google. They must know where you are in order for them to show you where you have to go or your, uh, your shortest way to the next place. It has to be. And so they have this uh, location shared with the permission of the user. Uh, they have given uh, consent to Google to share this location. Then, this is something absolutely fascinating, uh, Google actually went and measured millions and millions of stores around the world. They measured their geographical location, coordinates, their borders, how big is the store, the exact area which is owned by the store to really, really, really strong accuracy. So for example, if someone has a store on the lower floor and someone lives on the apartment above, Google will not detect that this person who lives above your store is visiting your store. Uh, they are able to detect different floors, they are able to detect uh, stores next to each other in a big shopping mall, and they do it with very, very strong accuracy. They actually surveyed 5 million people um, on whether they have visited a certain store or not, and uh, they answers showed 99.9% .9 accuracy uh, of uh, what Google detected, what they have visited. Um, so they are very, very certain that these people uh, with their mobile devices ended up going in this um, store. So what happens next? And this is very, very important. Google does not share any identifiable information with the advertiser. This is not happening and this is something that I have to emphasize on, which I think a lot of people don't understand well, is that Google does not share identifiable information of the users at any cost with anybody. <laughs> it's, it's really, really, really strict. Uh, what that means is that they actually take this data and they aggregate it. So they delete anything that can actually uh, help you identify this person who has visited the store. So anything related to the individual is completely deleted. There's no email addresses, there's no uh, time, there's no uh, anything that can relate you to this person. It's deleted. It's not transferred to the advertiser. Um, this is anonymous data and this actually gives the advertiser a statistical view on how many of the people who clicked on their ads statistically end up going into their store. So this is a very accurate statistical model which is giving very good, uh, very good uh, actually estimation of the in-store visits, but it's absolutely impossible for the advertiser to identify these people. So actually, if you have very few in-store locations, you will not uh, be able to, uh, to actually see this data. If, let's say, you don't have enough people visiting your store, your store is not visited that often, Google will not even show you how many in-store visits you have. You just won't be eligible to get this information because it's very easy for you to identify these people. Maybe you're even selling at the cashier, so it's very easy to identify them. 
you say, oh, you clicked on my ad, I can see you. No, this is never, ever, ever going to happen. And I can promise you Google is taking this very, very seriously. So what happens is that advertisers that have thousands and thousands of uh, clicks and impressions, they have linked their Google uh, My Business accounts to their ads accounts, uh, and they have enough uh, in-store visits detected by Google. So this can be estimated only when the advertiser actually calls up Google, they have a direct contact with an account manager or uh, they have someone who is direct representative of Google. They can ask them if I'm eligible to get this uh, in-store visits data and they will tell them on their side, yes, you have enough, enough in-store visits, we can actually share this with you. Um, so this is not something that anybody could see and at the end uh, advertisers can use this data for two reasons they can report so they can find out how ads actually influence the behavior of their uh, customers whether they actually got some new um, new people coming into the store based on their ads um, actually Google surveyed 10 of the biggest retailers in the United States and they found out that actually mobile clicks, clicks on mobile ads on Google, uh, help them get 10 times more visits in the store. And this was all conversions, all uh, in-store visits that would not have happened if the advertiser had not put a Google ad on a mobile device. Like these users would not have uh, found these uh, stores and would not have actually walked inside. It all happened because of their Google advertising. So it's very, very good proof that actually Google advertising is driving these in-store visits. And on the other hand, you can also use smart bidding. So you can include the in-store conversions, in-store visits as a conversion and you can set your uh, bidding, uh, your optimization, automated optimization to actually adjust your ads so that you appear in front of people who are likely to come and walk inside your store. So you can see the effects of your advertising. I hope this makes sense. Subscribe to this channel if you find this video useful, like it if you like it, share it if you want to share it. You can read more about uh, these subjects in my blog, odolena.com, you can see a link below this video. I also wrote a book called How to Advertise Like a Social Media Agency, which you can buy on Amazon, you'll see a link below this video. I'll be back with a new video next Sunday, uh, so I hope to see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching.